Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, unit five, lesson seven, part nine. The app that we're working with is called Dice Roller. The instructions tell us by combining the iterator value i with strings, for example, dice plus i in the program below, you can change the properties of many screen elements all at once. It says this program is supposed to roll 20 dice, but it has several things that need to be improved. Make it roll all 20 dice, add code so that it calculates the number of even rolls, update the code so only even rolls get a white border. The example here is very similar to what we saw in the previous project. Each of these squares has the ID of dice plus a number starting with zero and ending at 19. As the for loop runs, it's gonna update the different dice with number and different property characteristics. Let's go ahead and run the program just to see what happens. All right, we can see a few things. The first thing is that it doesn't roll the dice 20 times. It only rolls it 10 times. We can see that the app is only counting the odd results. And we can also see that each number, regardless of if it is even or odd, is getting the white border. So let's go ahead and look at our code. We can see that we have a variable for just odds and it has a count of zero. We're gonna have to add a variable in a minute. We can see here that it's gonna run through. I is set to zero. And as long as I is less than 10, it's going to run. And that's why it stopped when it got to this one right here. Let's go ahead and change this number to 20, and that'll fix it stopping at the 10th dice. As I scroll through here, I see we have an if statement. It's looking to see if the roll is equal to one, three, or five. These here are saying or, so if any of these criteria is true, then it's gonna add one to the counter. And then right here below, we can see that it is showing us the total of odd rolls here, but we don't actually have anything for the even rolls. The first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is create a variable for our evens. So we'll click on variables. We'll drag this over. We'll call this evens. And we'll set that value to zero. The next thing that I want to do is look at this if statement. Now, I could add another if statement for evens, but we only have two options here. It's either even or odd. This is already looking to see if it's odd. We could just click this plus to add an else statement. I'm going to click show text. And below, I'm just going to go ahead and click evens, which is the variable we just created, plus plus. And so let's look at this again. The if statement is looking to see is our rolls one, three, or five. If the roll is one of those numbers, it's gonna add one to the odd counter. If it's not true, what it's going to do is add one to the even counter. We're not done though. In our app when we ran it before, we noticed that it put a white border around everything, regardless if it was even or odd. So before we ever get to this if statement, we need to look above and we can see one of the things here is that it sets a border width of one. I'm guessing the default is white and that's why we see that. We don't want it to do it for all of the dice rolls. We only want this to happen if it is even. I'm going to go ahead and click this into our else. This one just deals with the border width. I'm going to add another set property. We're going to do what we see above. Dice plus our variable i. And what that's gonna do is grab the dice number here. We're gonna change this to be border color. I'm gonna go ahead and type in white. Let's go ahead and run this again. And as that's running through, we can see that it is adding the border, but we did forget to add our count to the evens output. So we'll go ahead and reset this. We're gonna scroll down to this part. This is a concatenated list that's being put out. We can see here that we have the total for odds and we just need to add evens. I'm gonna go ahead and click show text. That way I'm not having to drag in blocks and re-add different parts of this text. 
all we're going to do is plus events. We'll go ahead and click show blocks. And when we run it this time, we should see that. Just so you can really see that line around the events, I'm going to change this number to five. And let's go ahead and run this again. All right, and as it ran through, we can see that all 20 dice were rolled, and only the rolls that were even contained a white border. And then at the bottom of the app, it also counted our odds and our evens. When you're done with this, go ahead and click Finish.